All right, guys, welcome back. We got Thronebreaker EQ. We're going to go through all the bosses. This first one, I you ended up using Iceman for Morbius just because there were, were a bunch of uh, immunities. There is Ebb and Flow Intercept, which is annoying with Morbius, but you basically need to make sure he triggers his psionic... Um, uh, guide or glide, Santa glide. That's the one. Uh, make sure he dashes in, and then you're able to go ahead and perform an intercept, and you can get your full damage in there. So that's the main thing there. He has the he that after his special one, he's going to get the psionic glide uh, back. So there, make sure he throws it. Now I'm free to throw an intercept, and we get rid of the protection. So you just have to keep doing that. Uh, if you use a bleed immune champion, again, he does put bleeds on you. You got to be a little bit careful there if you're going to get clipped. Uh, and again, it's ebb and flow intercept. So that is definitely the way to go here. Uh, that's what I found. At least make sure, again, you trigger that psionic glide. Every time he throws that special one, it's going to come back. So you got to be careful that you remove it. So make sure he dashes in. Uh, again, here, I'm just trying to bait it out. Once he dashes in, there it's gone, and now I can go ahead and do another intercept, but after that special one, he gets it back. Just a reminder, when he throws that special one, he gets that psionic glide, so there, even though I thought it was gone, it came right back. Now it was gone again, I was able to finish him off, and there we go. Uh, he dies from the uh, cold snaps. All right, so that is the first fight. Second fight on the docket is a... Um, a Tuma, and normally with a Tuma, you're thinking, okay, uh, I'll bring in my Shuri. No, he's not going to take any, he's going to be super resistant to the shocks, and he, or not resistant to the shocks, he's only going to take damage unless you put an Incinerate on him. So like a Sunspot, or uh, in this case, Negasonic works extremely well for him. Uh, also, there you can hit into his block, or you're potentially going to put a Bleed on yourself, so just be aware of that. Negasonic just absolutely uh, destroys him there. There, I kind of got lucky, I didn't get any Bleed on me from throwing into his block but again incinerates will help you manage uh his um, hydration charges anyways so having uh having to, a champ that has to use incinerates in order to do damage is just for your benefit so it's not even that bad here just try to make sure that uh you keep his hydration uh in check uh there uh again Negasonic can parry him freely, so there's really nothing to worry about here. Get off a big special two. I was actually slow in, I think, getting back to my special one, so I uh, I let the, uh, unfortunately, I, let, I think I let the incinerates fall off there. But that's fine. It worked out extremely well. Negasonic, absolutely great champion here, and he goes down. Next one up is a Mr. Sinister, who has been tricky lately, but Viv is one of those champions that I was using for him beforehand. Um, here, if you don't have a robot or um, a, a psychic shielding champion, there's going to be reverse controls. There's also biohazard on here. Viv is absolutely a fantastic counter uh, for Mr. Sinister here. Really easy access to um, heal blocks with those medium ending combos. And you're not going to take any of the bleeds that he tries to put. When he tries to put a bleed on you, you're bleed immune. So you are good to go. So you can just bait special ones, go with the old special two, and then get him below bar power and drop some unblockable special ones. And again, uh, if he's heal blocked, he can't heal from any crits. So it works out fantastic here. So absolutely wrecked by Viv. So two special ones, and he is finished. Uh, next up, we have a uh, Red Skull. Uh, I went with uh, Angela with uh, Odin pre-fights to make sure that I can counter any auto block. Now, on this fight in particular, you have to be aware of the uh, protective guard. You basically, if you you if you don't you, uh, do. Uh, if you don't stagger your attacks, um, like light ending and medium ending combos, you are going to get auto blocked. Uh, here, I'm basically ignoring that. You can see medium there up on the top, the M by Red Skull. So I got to finish with a light. So I just keep rotating my um, combos. 
but it doesn't really matter because uh, I have enough buffs with Angela to be immune from the auto block anyway, but that is why I went with Angela here. So Angela works uh, really, really well. Obviously hitting into the block, not a great idea. You take that power burn damage and it puts a concussion on you. So uh, nothing too crazy here, but it, does take, it, it was one of the slower fights for me. But again, I'm sure there's a bunch of really great counters out there. Uh, this is the one I chose uh, on my first run through. So I'll let the music play out and we'll see you at the next fight. All right, guys, we're up to our first of the two new uh, champions. We got Shoth right here. Uh, don't go in with a champ that is immune uh, to buffs because it's going to give you 100% concussion. None of your abilities will work. She's immune to stun. You're going to get rooted during her specials, and she's more likely to throw the special one. I went with Spider Ham and uh, it worked out extremely well. Uh, just bait the initial heavy. Just hold, you can hold block. It's a pretty easy. Uh, don't get clapped in the face. It's a like a two dash heavy attack there. Really not so bad. And it's a three hit um, special one with no projectiles. So she just dashes in like three swipes. Uh, be careful. Every so often she's going to get an unblockable and an indestructible. But the special one is really easy to evade even while rooted. So one, two three dashes and then you can attack right back in pretty easy there get those power stings on and this fight was over before i knew it it was done really quickly i didn't really look into much of her other abilities here but really that unblockable and indestructible timer just be aware of uh she's immune to stun but re again even if i get clipped a little bit it wasn't too bad and it was done so fast with spider ham uh, last but not least, we've got Count Nefaria, and I, I didn't look at anything of his kit, and then I brought two champions that cleanse or, or uh, remove um, debuffs, and he had, uh, <laughs> he has like, um, uh, not escalating assault, he's got cold turkey there, which is gonna, I, I would have died like instantly with either, uh, I think, shield or kingpin there, so... I end up, uh, I, the best option I think I had here was Doc Ock, and you can't hit him while, uh, after you, um, parry him, or he's going to auto-evade and counter you, so I'm playing basically stun immune, and he also gets an unblockable charge, um, Every so often, when he any attack he does will remove that charge. The main thing here is I did not really get a good handle on uh, evading his special one. Luckily, it really didn't do a lot of damage to me, so it wasn't that bad. I have to go in and get better at evading his special one. It was like an additional, like a couple uh, dashes in and then that beam at the end. Every 10 hits you get is going to give you a steadfast charge to help you block unblockables. 
But uh, I did see very quickly after I did this that Hulkling works extremely well here. Again, anyone that can get you some openings without um, having to stun is going to work uh, really well here. He's also um, heavily resistant to um, incinerates, which is why I didn't bring in Viv, because he will... Um, like her, her big damage is from doing incinerate damage and he's like 90% resistant. So uh, I just ended with Doc Ock here and mainly just got <laughs> basic attacks in there, some specials, a little bit of uh, like nothing else too crazy. You can see I finally got some distance, but I was still getting hit by the end of the special one. I should have just dashed back away and blocked. But I was thinking because he's unblockable that I had to try and evade. But at the end of the day, I took a bunch of hits to the face, but still managed to get the guy down. I'm sure there's a ton of way better options. Like I said, I already saw a Hulkling absolutely wreck him, but it's always fun to throw Doc Ock in a video here for me. He is also a um, uh, Saga attacker, so maybe I'll bring him in for the um, Paragon Gauntlet at the end of the month when I finally finish <laughs> Thronebreaker EQ 100%. So hopefully that helps, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.